Hey guys, I'm Vignesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone are doing good. So in today's video, we are going to see what are the different type of encryption, uh, encrypting the data options available in Google Cloud Platform. So without any further delay, let's get started. So there are basically three types of encryption options available in Google Cloud Storage. One is Google Managed Encryption Keys. The next one is customer managed encryption key. The third one is customer supplied encryption key. This customer supplied encryption key will only work only in the cloud shell or cloud editor that is from uh, CA using CLI commands. So uh, we will be seeing what is Google managed encryption key and how to implement it practically in Google Cloud Storage and making the object publicly public in uh, Google Cloud Storage as well. And next we will be seeing what is customer managed encryption key and how to implement it practically in Google Cloud Console. The final one that is customer supplied encryption key will be implementing it practically in Google Cloud Console as well. So uh, first we will see what is Google managed encryption key. Cloud storage always encrypts your data on the server side before it is written to disk at no additional charge. So by default when we are not passing any 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 encryption key uh, Google Cloud will use this Google Manage key to encrypt the data on the server side before it is uh, before writing it to the disk. And when we are again when we are reading that data, it will decrypt on it one, and we will be seeing the actual data. And the next one is data is automatically decrypted when read by an authorized user, as I told earlier, right? Uh, like it will do like Google Cloud itself will take it. Uh, both encryption and decryption from that we don't need to do anything and it is of no additional charge as well to implement this in practically in Google Cloud Storage now we'll go to Google Cloud Console so this is our Google Cloud Console so before that I'll let you know like I have given all this link in the resource section you can go through this in depth to understand what is Google manage encryption keys followed by customer manage encryption key and followed by customer supplied encryption key now we will see how to implement uh, uh, Google Manage Encryption Key in Google Cloud Storage. For that open storage on a search for storage. You can open this cloud storage and click on this create but bucket. So if my bucket name is encrypt, ncr, encrypt data pde. Continue and search for like click on this region go with Asia South one and next look the default storage let it be standard itself and the next uh, choose how to control access to object let it be uniform by now uh, we are not going to work on that inside this next option choose how to pro protect object data inside this data encryption we will be not clicking on this we will be just uh, use like we will like we'll click on this create button by default Google manage encryption key will be uh, will be opened or will be configured to this bucket you can see that in this configuration if you can come in under encryption type you can see it is Google manage key if you wanted to use the other one custom management we have to click click on the other we'll be seeing how to implement that in the in next couple of minutes now we will be uploading any object uh, any file to our bucket for that I'll be using yeah I'm using this data lab this is a JSON file so to using after uploading just refresh it you can see here by default the encryption key is Google managed encryption key so if you wanted to make uh, if you click on this object uh, that will be like public URL is not applicable yet to enable the public URL just go to come to this permissions and click on this add permissions add and under new principle uh, click all users and in under rule click on this cloud storage search for cloud storage and click on this storage object viewer rule you will get read access to GCS objects and create a rule access to create objects in GCS storage object running full control of GCS objects and storage I mean is full control of GCS resources for now we will give this storage object viewer rule and, and save it it will take some time uh, policy got updated just refresh it and if you click on here right you can see that public URL enabled so just click on it open incognito mode and execute it you will be able to see what is the file here 
so now we will see how to create a customer managed encryption key so what is customer managed encryption key for a, in customer managed encryption key we will be not using the default uh, uh, google managed encryption key instead we will be using this for creating this customer managing we will be using another service called key management services so we how to open this key management service so come to this uh, navigate through this and go to security inside security search for key management click on this open in a new tab so now i'll be opening it in a new tab and uh, before creating a bucket related to custom customer managed encryption key we will be creating one uh, uh, key or key rings here inside this uh, key management so there is already one key present here so i'll just delete it i guess we can't delete it there will be an option Yeah, we can't delete it, but we can create a new key ring here. So just uh, create uh, enter a queue name, cast key ED. Let it be region and region let it be Asia South 1. Go to Asia South 1 Mumbai and just create, okay, click on create. It will take some time to load. Uh, now we will be uh, creating the actual key value here. So project name is, I am into this project, my key ring name is Cust Key PDE. Location will be Asia South 1. So what type of key do you want to create? It's like generated key or imported key or externally managed key. I am using this generated key and value will be key Cust Manage. This is my key and product, protection level will be software and the purpose will be for symmetric encrypt and decrypt for both the case and the key rotation period is. Uh, let, I'll keep it on like 30 days uh, the rotation period will uh, after rotation period it will delete this and it will create a new key so I'll click on create now so it will be creating it will take some time to create meanwhile we'll go to this create bucket we'll come to this bucket and we'll create customer managed encryption key cust managed PDE next is the region whatever the region which we created here like the region is what is this region Asia South one right the location is Asia South one so the same location we have to create bucket here so Asia South one let's continue let it be standard and let it be uniform in under data encryption use customer managed encryption key and under it select a manager like so this is the one which we created here Cust key cust manage so the same one you have to give um, necessary permission to that service account this is my service account so just click on the grant and now it will create so now we can upload any file or any object to this uh, um, to this bucket as well so what to do code text I'm uploading this file and refresh it once if you see by default the encryption key is customer managed encryption key and um, as I told you earlier this under permission make it as uh, all users and role also uh, cloud storage object viewer click on save hello public access and come to this object once refresh it go inside this object uh, get this public URL open and shift and now we will be able to see what is the service um, file like what is the data presence of that file now in suppose if you are going here if you are coming here and inside this I am just disabling it I am disabling it or deleting it so disable all the key versions destroy all the key version I am just disabling all the key words key cast versions I am disabling it now if i'm if i'm able to access it just refresh here once so now if i am able to if i'm exit i should not be able to access the object but 
uh, yeah it is actions like get live like give some movements you no know, like one or two minutes wait for one or two minutes and again you can uh, refresh it and see you will be not able to um, access the object i'm just trying it once again it is coming so just uh, wait for one or two minutes so that uh, it will be uh, we'll we can uh, replicate that in our uh, uh, console we we should get this view error we should get an error stating that Uh, give me a moment like I'm trying to refresh it yeah inside this public URL copy this and open it in console in new cognitive token and just hit enter yeah if you see cloud KMS key is disabled destroyed or scheduled to be destroyed unable to decrypt with cloud KMS so while at the time of decryption also at the time of access like that encryption sheet should be uh, available should be uh, enabled inside the cloud storage so i guess uh, what this cloud customer managed encryption key is important like how it is important all those things uh, i guess it is clear now so the next thing is we will be using uh, uh, we'll be going into customer supplied encryption key so this will be working only in this cli command that is either in G Cloud Shell or Cloud SDK. Uh, in this case, we will be supplying our own keys and we'll be using this uh, GSUtil command to encrypt our data with passing this key, whatever the key. To implement this, just copy this open SSL RAN base uh, 6432 and execute it in Cloud Shell. So I'm opening my Cloud Shell here, activate Cloud Shell. Um, I'm just clicking on, on cloud shell here uh, it, it is loading let it load so if you wanted to understand what is customer supplied encryption key you can go through this link uh, you will get a detailed understanding of what it is so open SSL ran iPhone base 6432 just copy it this is our uh, customer supplied encryption key now we will be creating one file not sample hmm u.txt this is my file name and I'm saying this is a new file this is a new file I'm just saving it I'm coming out of it So you do come out of it, control X to exit it out of it, control X and save modified better, buffer, yes. So now to view it, what is the file, use to view what is the content present inside that file, viu.txt, this is the new file and I'm coming out of it. So now to use this. For this, we'll be using one bucket. For example, I'm taking this demo bucket 97. So if you see, um, to view it, right? To use this, uh, you should use this command gsutil, gsutil, uh, iPhone o, gsutil. Copy this, and you can use encryption. underscore key equal to this value pass this value gs util and o util encryption key equal to 
paste it close it and the file name is view.txt the location will be gs demo bucket 97 so authorize it it will take some moment invalid command view.txt so we have made one error here so after this we have to use copy cp copy view.txt this is our source file view text is my source file this is my destination file click on enter now it, uh, it will work now so it has copied and now go to this demo bucket refresh once and if you see here view.txt it will be customer supplied key this is the one which i executed now view txt this is customer supplied key so to view what is present inside that g util to view what is present inside that you have to give this command view dot txt So this is then this is new file. This is what the the actual data present inside that file. So I hope uh, this is what Google manage encryption key, customer manage encryption key, and customer supplied encryption key. This depends on the uh, requirement on your use case on what which, when to use which one. So by default, Google manage encryption key is the applicable across all the uh, files across all the objects in the Google Cloud Storage bucket. Um, so that's it for this video. I hope you learn something new out of this video If you have any questions or any doubts, please place that in the post that in the comment section I'll take a look at it and reply as soon as possible You I hope you learned uh, new from this video I'll meet you in the new video with the new content until then. It's bye from Vignesh. Happy learning